there riders, welcome to my channel. I'm Wild Rider, where I discuss motorcycle related content, DUIs, various other things. In fact, I guess it's not really just centered on motorcycle related content, but a wide variety of things that are out there. But I digress. Today's video is going to be, uh, well, today's video is going to involve my wife's helmet as you might have seen a picture of for the thumbnail and setting up the communication system I have on there all right let's hope this works <laughs> I've been having GoPro issues all right so our communication our comm unit is actually a uh, from Netphone. Um, actually got sent one of these by uh, Blue Bike and Doyle. He sent me a spare that he had because he didn't need it. I gave it a try and it worked out great for a couple of the helmets that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and install it on my wife's helmet. Funny thing is, is this is a recent uh, Christmas gift in which I got from. My wife or my daughter? I can't really remember which one it was. That's what today's episode is going to consist of. Now, I'm not going to do this outside in the garage. In fact, I'm going to do this in the comfort of my office on this wonderful Friday. Okay, this gray Friday. But it's not snowing. In fact, the snow's been melting for the past three days now, I think it has. In fact, I think uh, a couple of days ago we happened to have uh, good temperatures in which it was melting it real fast. My driveway's halfway cleared out right now good for me anyways let's take you over to what we got for the setup here all right and and there we go now got our spare backings that we have for the the headsets in which this is the headsets right here got our little mic right here and this is a standard mic what you'll find for cell phones and such this is a back in case you need to go with a different backing on there or you need a need something a little bit different wider something a little bit more pliable you can go with the with the steel and then of course we got our utility tool we just got a Phillips head on here. I believe that's a number two. But that's what comes inside this box. Oh, spare screws and, of course, our charging plug. And it just so happens it uses the, the same jack as what a cell phone does to go inside there. I don't recommend using this on a cell phone or anything like that if you happen to have one with the... See, what do they call this? Ring, 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 sleeve, ring, sleeve, sleeve, I think it is. And on there. I could be wrong. Yes, I did have to look that up a while ago and because I was concerned about a microphone for our, the GoPro. So, and as you can see, this is the, this is the instruction manual. Who needs that? But it does give very good instructions on here. And it is colored. Look at that. Ah, first part of it's English, not French. I'm not used to that. And you can see how to do this, make phone calls and such. And that's where our buttons will be. This, of course, making your, turning on your, this is your, for your, uh, Let's see, number eight button is to pair your phone and receive phone calls. And let's see, they say number two. Pretty sure number two. Ah, and this is also your power button. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Oh, this thing's completely dead, so. Good thing I discovered that right now. All right, so I'm gonna go charge this up. Three days later. Uh, all right, 
this is not charged. So let's start this again. Just to find out, I wasn't following directions, which does not surprise me. Alright, so apparently what you gotta do... Now, what I found out is that you can't just press down on the phone button. You actually gotta press down on both of these. Then what I'll do is flash uh, blue and red. Then you go over to your uh, phone, to the, uh, um, to the Bluetooth setting there. And as you can see, on my phone right here... It says V6. V6 will be the name in which they get, but you can always change it on the phone. On um, the installation. Now, on the bracket itself, I went to go take a look to see exactly what was going on with this helmet, and didn't realize how thick this actually was on my wife's. In fact, hers is more of a hardened plastic, while mine is actually a rubber. So, in order to help out with that, um, we're going to be sticking over here on the right side. Um, we'll go with close by the cheek. I believe. I don't know if I want to. So she doesn't have any cutouts on here for a mic. But I think I can take care of that. By opening up her helmet but we're gonna go ahead and run this mic out over on this side with the adhesive uh, as I said before this is velcro so all we gotta do is remove the adhesive all right so we're gonna end up That shouldn't have much of a problem running around. Having the mic hook up there, then run that through underneath so that way it can hook up. Then what we'll do is just run along the inside of here for this part after I install this. It shouldn't be easy. All you gotta really do is this. Unscrew, fit on, and screw it back on. Care of we'll get that. We'll just run the wire through. Let's see. Let's go through the back. So that's fine. We can have a crossover on the mic. And right over there, that way, line this out of the way. In fact, you can even tuck it under. Let's see, this one's only got it over on one side, so if I wanted to, I could flip it all the way underneath. Once I got it. Set up. Now these can be a pain in the butt at times in order to install. She doesn't use her helmet that much. That's what that lever is for. I can always get something to go across upwards or redesign this all together. But as you can see. Voila. I'll test this out later, later on in its use, but that's pretty much it, all you gotta do. The important information, intercom distance is up to 1,200 meters, which equals 1,312 yards, or three quarters of a mile. The talk time is 12 hours, 
the standby time is 450 hours and the charging time is 2.5 hours. I can personally say that I have been very happy with it, only using it for making phone calls while I'm out on the road or while I'm listening to whatever music's playing on my phone. So I am happy with this device, and I'm pretty sure my wife will be once we get that spider and we are able to ride together once again. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button uh if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe uh subscription helps out with my channel and allowing me to be able to grow more i do appreciate you i appreciate you watching this video and as always uh ride safe and i'll see you on the next ride